How many of you know that prayer changes things in your life? So that is the topic this week for the membership group. I wanted to invite you into a private recording that I did for the group so that you could get a sneak peek in what happens. I wanna let you know that we go a little bit deeper in the membership group. We talk about topics, we discuss things, most definitely to help you and inspire you and transform you and awaken you to your full potential. So the topic today is prayer. Let's get it. I wanted to drop a word real quick for those who may be struggling today in your faith. Maybe you have been praying and no matter what you're asking God for, you feel like, what's the use why I keep trying? You know, I've been praying for six months. I've been asking this for, you know, a year. I've been asking this for two years. And for whatever reason, I just, it ain't gonna happen. And so you lose hope. And so the enemy, he creeps in through your subconscious mind to feed you these thoughts, to feed you these ideas about our creator. God is so magnificent that when we can stay in alignment with him, if we can stay in his will and his mind in the mindset of God, then everything becomes natural and it comes to you. You know, I just often say that a lot of times if you're praying and you're forcing it, or if you're tugging hard, God is like he's he's relaxed. He's he's everything. He, he lacks nothing. And in order to be in rhythm and in sequence and in, you know, in alignment with them, you have to relax. You have to trust and you have to just adjust the tension and just release it. I want you to understand what Joseph Murphy says about prayer. I want you to understand that when you pray, the enemy knows what you're saying. I want you to know that he will come in through your mind to try to convince you because it ain't happening in your uh, appointed time that prayer is not working. I want you to understand that prayer is always working if you believe in what you're praying. I want you to understand that you can't pray to two, two powers and you can't pray to two masters. You know, unbelief is not of God. Unbelief is of the evil one. True belief is from the Lord. So if you're praying something, but you believe in something different in your heart, then you can't be upset with God because it's not showing up in your life. You have to have, you know, the type of faith that no matter what is going on, no matter what you don't understand, what matter, no matter what ain't showing up for you, that it will come to pass for you. Listen to what Joseph Murphy says about your mind, because your mind is where the devil will attack you when you are praying for something that you ain't seen and that you are believing even God for. The answer to prayer comes not from the devout investment of power in some external condition, circumstance, event, or person. The answer to prayer is the result of your subconscious mind responding to the mental picture or thought in your head. How many of you understand this, that the enemy is after your thoughts? Because if he can uh, control your thoughts, then he can control your outcome. If you put a prayer out there and you wait a day or two and you ain't seeing nothing six months and you haven't seen anything yet because God is working it out spiritually and that is beginning to take root in your life, your doubt will send out a frequency to that seed and it will to totally demolish what you've been asking for, what you've been praying for. See, many people's prayers are answer because consciously and unconsciously they are believing in two powers or forces in the world one that brings sickness and one that brings health one that brings success and one that brings failure one that brings joy and one that brings sorrow you will never be truly effective in prayer until you awaken to the greatest of all truth expressed in Deuteronomy 6 and 4 hear O Israel the Lord our God is one the, there is one power. Know this in your heart and you will gain confidence and cease struggling, straining, and believing that you must put great effort into prayers, thinking that praying is the type of contest between opposing forces, okay? In prayer, you are communing with your subconscious mind to God. When you offer new mental patterns in your subconscious mind through prayer, the latter accepts the new imagery. I want you to understand this. Pray without ceasing. First Thessalonians 5 and 17. This does not mean that you pray all day. Instead, it means that you ceaselessly think constructively and lovingly. Remembering that your thoughts are your prayers. 
Prayer is the law of substitution made manifest. Prayer is the substituting for the challenge, the fear, the worry, uh, the, the doubt uh, that you're facing. And abiding faith in the law of God, which organizes the universe and all the workings of your body and in which they have no fear, no challenge, no worry, and no doubt. Never permit your mind to wander after false gods, which is negative beliefs. I want you to understand the negative belief God has been trying to pull up the root that you have planted in the sea of the infinite things that God is trying to work out for you. That God of unbelief is the reason why you are frustrated and about to give up on what God is doing for you and turn around and, and walk back. I want you to understand that that God of unbelief is working through the subconscious part of your mind, baby, to get you to not believe so you can turn back and go to Sodom. I want you to understand that you have to believe all day, every day, all day long because the enemy is in your head trying to convince you of a lie. Don't give up the faith. Don't give up the fight. And all of your getting is up to you to get an understanding in Christ so that you can see what you are praying for manifest. It's only by faith that you can please God. And until the next video, guys, peace. I still believe in you. Bye now.